Yo, what's up, y'all, man? Hey, how y'all doing? <clears throat> I'm at home. Finally. A uh, couple videos I made. I was at the old place that I was staying at. My shoulders are getting so broad that certain shirts don't fit me the way they used to. I mean, my arms is like they come up under here like the t-shirts I can't wear small shirts like I used to I gotta get a medium I don't know if y'all experienced that but I am right now um, <clears throat> so uh, I guess I can give y'all a little bit of update I took my shot today uh, I took my t-shirt today um, this evening probably like around don't give me a line. I probably was like, wow, one. I did it after I worked out <clears throat> because I like to work out before I take a shower because it made no sense to take a shower then you go work out. I don't understand how people do that, but even if I wake up, you know, and then I want to go to the gym, I will wake up, go to the gym, then I go home, then I take a shower, wash my butt and all that. That way I'm washing all the dirt off. But it made no sense to be clean, like take a shower, then go to the gym, you're about to get sweaty, and then you're already about to smell all kind of funny, and then you want to freaking come home and then take another shower. That's just too much. I, I, I take showers like I'm on a budget. You know what I'm saying? I take showers on a budget level. If y'all know the budget level, that's when you're trying to determine if I take a shower here and there and there. Look. When I wake up in the morning, if I want to work out, and I know I'm going to go work out, I will wake up, put some shorts on, put a white speedo on, sports bra, binder. Actually, I don't like to work in my binder because um, the binder kind of, it's, it's too much. It's like my pecs are already built so much that I have like this much, I got this much of fucking leftover tissue from my chest. So, when I get chest surgery, only thing they're going to be taken out is maybe a, this much fat and a whole lot of skin. They got to, it's kind of, my chest is like one of them fat people when you lose weight, you just got skin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, that's how my chest is right now. I've lost a shitload of chest. My chest has gone down so much. It's like, a, believe it or not, that I had one. But, um. <clears throat> but yeah, um, to my guys, my trans guys, do not wear your binder when you go work out. I do wear a sports bra um, when I go work out because it's a little bit comfortable, you know, and I'm, I can feel comfortable and I'm not congested, I'm like, you know, it's not compressing so much on my chest and I can bulk up the way I want to. Um, and I don't compress nothing. A lot of people ask me what is my workout tips and that I can give them because uh, I'll probably do a video slide of what I look like before and what I look like now. I've gained a lot of muscle. Um, my arms are very toned. I do uh, kickboxing, but I do it at home. A lot of the workouts I do is at home. Uh, the little thing I showed you that cost me maybe what about ten, eleven dollars, or maybe it was sixteen dollars. Tell me why that bitch dropped down all the way six dollars and fourteen cents. At the time when I bought it, it was like ten dollars and some fucking change, or maybe a little bit more. And the little rolly thing for your abs, and that's how, what I use. I do that at least for twenty minutes uh, each side. Like I do ten sets. Up each side, like I go to the right, then I go to the front, and I go to the other side. Then I kind of switch it up and go kind of like you shooting ball, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you shot ball, b ball, you shot basketball, you know what I'm talking about. You doing the quarter shot or the free shots, you know. So the free throws or whatever, you know, you kind of going in that angle. That's how I do my workout on that, on the rolly. And then I do my abs with the barbell. 
I got to go up a little bit. I'm going to try to increase it to maybe a 25. I'm on a 15, maybe a 25 because my arms are very much stronger than I know them to be. So um, I have to increase it to get more muscle mass that I want. And my lower abs, I'm still working on that. I haven't got them developed the way I want them to be. So I got a little bit of body fat, maybe about that much body fat on lower abs. But then too, it doesn't help if I'm sitting up here drinking this. But I drink water, but I drink the, you know, it doesn't help when you got a beer. But, <clears throat> you know, you got your party time. I'm not trying to be a too much of a bodybuilder looking type of guy. <clears throat> I just want to be okay and content the way I look, but for myself, not for any other individual out there in the world, not for society, not for women, just for myself. Um, but, uh, as far as on that, like, today I did work out, and, uh, I enjoy myself, I had fun with it, um, I will, I guess I can make a video one day when I work out and show you the things that I just do, um, I, everybody's got, like, a whole, um, routine of what they do when they go in the gym, they got, I'm gonna do this many squats, I'm gonna do this many biceps, I'm gonna do this many crunches for abs, I'm gonna do this many stretches for abs, or this many push-ups, or this many pull-ups, and all that for your biceps. I don't. Sometimes I just switch the shit up. up. It, it depends how the music is. I listen to techno, and uh, Enigma, um, kind of soulful music. But I kind of go into techno when I'm doing my cardio, when I just want to do, 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 Because techno is just, you just be on that beat, and you don't even realize how much you just be pushing. And you be, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You just be into it. And that's the way I do with techno. My cardio is my techno. Um, and... When I'm meditating and stuff like that, when I'm just kind of mellowing down, but I'm still doing my stretches and everything and still toning, I do Enigma kind of music, um, soulful kind of music, which really gets me. That's kind of like my downtime, and then I meditate, which is my cool time. When I meditate, that's my cool time. So most people stretch. I do stretch, but like I said, that would be my cool time. Um... Other than that, man, I really don't have really much to tell you. Like I said, I took my tee shot today, and I'm pretty happy with the results I'm getting. I'm getting faster results than a lot of guys, and a lot of re response than a lot of guys quicker. Like, my anatomy has gotten a lot bigger. I mean, I, I have to wear boxers or certain looser briefs. I can't wear small briefs anymore. I have to literally get medium or large draws now. I was wearing small draws. I mean, I was, yeah, it just was comfortable. Small t-shirts, I was wearing them. Now they're cutting under my underarm, so I gotta get a medium. <laughs> I can't wear small shirts anymore. Uh, Cause I guess I'm getting bigger and bulkier. As far as pants, there's certain pants I can wear, um, certain size, I don't think. I think these pants are, 33, um, they're still baggy on me, um, still about around a 32, 30 in my pants, um, or 33, it depends, but I think right now I'm just sticking with the 32 right now on pants, it depends what kind of pants they're, that is made and how they're made to determine if I'm going to be comfortable in them. So, it's like I'm, I am got to change my whole wardrobe. It's kind of like changing that. I think the only thing I don't have to change is probably my hats, you know. It's probably putting on a hat. Um, I mean, I don't think my head is going to get any bigger, you know, than what it was. Unless I have hair, then it probably get... I got to wear a different hat. But, as you see, I don't do dreadlocks right now. I'm not thinking about that, but I'm still keeping it Afrocentric, kind of, you know, that little faux, 
with the size faded and and everything so I'm still keeping natural a little bit um, yeah so a lot of guys was asking me about these kind of questions and somebody asked me do I have a problem with my waistline I guess being on TV kind of like your waistline expands a little bit like some people it kind of curves but it expands out a little bit like you get a little bit more hips or whatever um, as far as on that probably my waistline line probably gained maybe about an inch on my waist so the pants that I wear I'm now between a 32 and a 33 and still the length it hasn't changed maybe it has changed maybe about an inch like I gained a little bit of height that I didn't even know I didn't think T would give you height but apparently I guess everybody has a different reaction on T but again I got a little bit taller I can show you my arms just folding let me show you that this is my arms now you know this is my arms now being on T or as long as I've been on T. And you see how broad my shoulders have gotten. Uh, I already had an Adam's apple. I've been, yeah, I know I'm intersex, so I don't know. I might come out a little bit more than what it is. See, a little knot right there. That's my Adam's apple. That's my Adam's apple. I'm glad it's not big, because I don't want to be big looking like a pelican. I can't be walking around looking like that. You got this big ass, like, hello, girl. How you doing? You know, <laughs> you're damn, you know, I don't want that bird neck looking, pelican bird looking. I don't want that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's, that's about as far as the update I can really give you. Um, I think the more I keep. Every time I take a new shot, I realize my voice starts to drop more. Like, I took the shot earlier. And if, if you're on Facebook and you look at the video yesterday, and then you look at this video on here today on YouTube, you will see how much, how fast my voice will drop in a heartbeat. But then my voice has already been deep, so I guess it's just kind of in decreases it or lowers it more just a little bit faster um, I'm a little bit horny but not that horny um, facial hair is growing in like a little bit more than what I thought it was going to be the cheeks are starting to come in a lot more now um, without me getting on the supplement pills I was on so it's coming in without me using that um, this has gotten a lot darker a lot darker you see that I like my chin hair coming in I don't want no gaps in my chin hair or my facial hair it's just yeah but I've seen guys that had like hair hair and then hair hair like my bro Kamari he was talking about that he didn't have no hair hair I got hair coming up to here right now just and I can feel it coming in because it starts to itch. Now, the one thing I need some advice on before I'm going to close this video out because I really don't want to get too long. All my T brothers and all, <clears throat> or trans women or whatever, um, what do I use for like um, irritation? Like, I get, because my hair is growing in so fast and down there is not, you know, I shave, I shave my underwear pits and I shave down there I don't like hair around my equipment I've never liked hair down below but what do I put for irritation like I said before I don't like irritation and when I, after I shave um, I put alcohol on that area and um, I put alcohol in that area so it doesn't have razor bumps but what I do for the irritation of the razor because I'm still trying to adapt deal with how to shave 
my hair now that is growing in me being on teeth and I not be irritated and look like I'm scratching my balls or something or my ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that area. You're a trans woman, you're a trans man, you know what I'm talking about. So what I do, um, because I've been using shea butter and it's been helping. Shea butter been awesome to me. But I don't know what to do about that because I don't like razor irritation, especially down there. It, I, I can't walk around like something wrong with my stuff. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, y'all, y'all been there. You've been on TV, so you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, this is my update, and I'm very, very sorry this video is a little bit long, but I figure I'd go ahead and do a quick update since I started. I took my shot today and everything. To let you know what the changes were. Alright, I'll let you good folks later. Deuces.